Listening to music by the tenor Andrea Bocelli, Italian restoration expert Luciana Biliotti works at the Martiro Sarian studio in Yerevan, trying to breathe new life into the eminent painter's canvas, Persia. The restoration artist has already been in the Armenian capital for 10 days, but she has yet to take even a simple stroll through the city as she works day and night trying to save the damaged canvas from ruin. Persia was created by Saryan in 1913 during a journey to Iran. Saryan attempted, on a single canvas, to convey all of his impressions about the country, its oriental urban lifestyle, and people's customs and traditions. The artist's granddaughter, Ruzan Saryan, says it was at the Tehran Bazaar that the great master found what he had been looking for. He saw Persian women without yashmaks or face veils, and he drew their images on his canvas. Understandably, those had to be women with loose morals, women who could appear in a marketplace before men without covering their faces. Here on the right, we see two such women sitting. It turns out that in the initial version of the painting, some Persian women of easy virtue were depicted together with men smoking a hookah. Then Saryan gave up that idea, and with his intervention as the author, he removed it and covered it with another coat of paint. Even in its damaged condition, the large canvas, which boasts a variety of colors typical of Saryan's paintings, successfully conveys the atmosphere of an oriental bazaar. Up in the picture, we can see some dancing women whose faces are not veiled either. We can see three walking women who have their faces fully covered with cloths of different colors, as well as a Persian man with a beard who seems to be eating a pilaf from a nice plate and a younger man who is smoking hookah. This painting was hanging on the big wall in the studio. In 1963, 50 years after the creation of Persia, heating pipes in the Saryan studio burst, seriously damaging the canvas, which was covered with tempera paint and sensitive to humidity. Several years later, it's not known exactly when, an unsuccessful attempt was made to restore the canvas using oil paints instead of tempera. Which clearly would have its consequences, because as a denser and heavier substance, the coat of paint would start coming off, and that exactly was happening for years. A decision was made to send the canvas to Moscow, home of the Grabar Restoration Center. Money was found to cover the expense of the trip, and all technical and customs issues had been resolved. But the visit was suddenly cancelled after news that a massive fire had broken out at the Grabar Center. A fire broke out there, destroying about 1,500 meters of that center. We thanked God we had not had time to transport it earlier. And so Persia remained in its birthplace. Only years later did the Italian restoration doctor arrive to treat the sick patient. Indeed, we are like doctors. All canvases are individual patients, and each one requires an individual approach and treatment. Biliotti has cleaned away as much as possible of the oil paint, fixing the prime coating and the paint underneath. Now the equally complicated process of shading is underway. Now we are trying to restore the scattered colors. We have no right to draw the work again. We are supposed to put color on it. A restorer should work in such harmony with the original that no trace of restoration can be seen on the canvas. The Italian specialist stresses just how complex, time-consuming, and painstaking the restoration process is. In some places, the paint had come off, got scattered. We had to constantly fix it. Biliotti says she has already grown fond of Sarian's art and is impressed by the artist's simplicity and purity of colors. At the same time she's helping to restore the canvas, she's also giving master classes to local students at the Academy of Fine Arts, as well as to National Picture Gallery restoration artist Haik Amir Khanyan. A struggle is on for the life of a heavy patient, and here you forget about everything. You only pray for the canvas to be restored and everything to have a happy ending and a positive result.
The Italian specialist answers a question about how much progress has been made on the restoration work. 50%. The canvas can be considered saved by 50%. She has promised not to leave Yerevan until the ailing canvas has been cured.